So how do dung beetles, which are small, frequently surrounded by large vegetation, and often rolling their ball upside down, remain on a straight course? The research into this subject has revealed that dung beetles have an internal celestial compass, which is calibrated not only by the position of the sun, but also the position of the moon, the position of the Milky Way galaxy, uh, the polarized light that is visible from the sun or moon, and modified using wind direction. And the obvious answer for how you would test this is to blindfold the beetle. When you do blindfold the beetles, or when you test them under an overcast sky, they can no longer maintain their straight lines, and the resulting paths become very, very convoluted. This celestial compass works for whatever light it is that you're uh, talking about, whether it is the sun, the moon, or the stars. This stops being as effective at high noon because the sun is no longer near a horizon, so how does it orient itself? And the answer is, is with the wind. It takes note of the wind direction when it starts out, and as the sun gets more and more overhead, it will adjust its direction based on its own, its own position against the wind. And then as the sun moves farther down towards the horizon, it can begin relying on the sun more. So this idea of a celestial compass can actually be partially seen uh, during the process that the beetle is actually beginning to roll the ball. What they do is first climb up on top of it and then begin spinning. They make a full 360 degree spin and then they climb down, position themselves upside down and begin to roll it. And during this spin, what they're doing isn't just looking around. They're taking note of the position of celestial objects, but it's only during the spinning uh, when they're looking around that they actually create a mental map of the celestial sources. If they do this, or after they've done this, if they begin rolling the ball and they lose control of the ball, or they fall over or they get lost in some way, they will again climb up on top of the ball, do a 360 view, remap all of the celestial objects, and then begin rolling the ball again. 